So we made it here to Pine Mountain Lake. It's a designated trout lake. They stock Splake in it. One of the few lakes that they stock Splake here in Grand Marais. And it was an adventure getting down here. A little over two miles of pretty bad shack road. We weren't expecting it, but we pushed through and Haley got out of the truck quite a few times to make sure we wouldn't bomb out or nothing, but take a look at that view. We were able to, there's a little campsite, got a little fire pit there, someone made our chairs. Haley hanging out in the truck, windy right now. Not a bad view out of the truck. <laughs> well, I think we got the boat all rigged up. Got our Helix 5 fish finder. Looking crazy. Wind's gone down a little bit, but still a little wavy. We'll give it a shot though, going for some splay. Well, went fishing this morning. Again, no luck. All packed up here, just gotta get the garbage. And then do this about almost two and a half mile rough ride out. So we'll see how it goes. On to, I think, brookie fishing. <laughs> One's in there. Small little water is really low, and this is just a little pond, a little pool here. So I got got my line stuck, putting on a new line. Beautiful spot. Haley's freaking out, <laughs> and she got this monster brook trout. <laughs> That's so cool. Look how pretty it is. Ooh, it's slippery. Yeah. Going in the box. Made it to our new campsite. Got the river right by us. Sweet. That's got some weight to it. Oh yeah. Oh look at him falling. See the other his friend? Yep. They're all falling like what's going on. <laughs> I don't know.
nice little stream going down there and kind of nice little one <laughs> let them go too so when you're out driving on these little back trails and roads you never know if you're spending the night and get a little wind or something at night then you have a little tree fall over or something i mean that could make a heck of a of a problem so what i like to do i mean chainsaw is best but i'm just bringing this sawzall I got a bit little bit longer blade so i mean if it was a big tree it would get the job done but take a long time but even the little stuff you'll be able to you know cut that tree out of the way and this works as getting firewood so going out in the woods and got a little dead tree down or something's already fallen you can cut it up easier into chunks that you need and just even if you cut it halfway and stomp and break makes it pretty nice but we we'll have a fire here tonight and getting settled in Tasty little guys. Mm -hmm. Well, after that nice little fish appetizer, we're gonna do another one of my parents' dehydrated meals. It's this is beef and barley stew. Beef and barley stew. That sounds good. So, I'm gonna cook this up now. Ooh, that looks good. Haley had a couple. Had a taste. couple early bites. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Perfect to warm you up when it's getting chilly. It is. I think it's supposed to get down to the low, low 50s tonight. So we're going to keep the windows fully closed. I think last night we had them one fully open and woke up a little cold and just put an extra blanket up. What about up there?